Remember? Yes, it's the ceremony of trooping the color on the king's birthday with Princess Elizabeth, Colonel of the Grenadier Guards, there to take the salute. It was the first occasion on which the princess wore the scarlet tunic and tricorn hat of a colonel of the regiment of 1743. To no one were the photographs of that ceremony more interesting than to artist George Ford at his studio in Highgate. He'd been commissioned by a famous toy soldier factory to prepare a prototype model in wax. Medals, buttons, folds of the material to suggest movement, every detail had to be correct. Now, scaled down to exactly one-thirtieth of the life-size original, the lead models are coming from their molds. There were no British tin soldiers until 60 years ago when this factory in Walthamstow was opened. Nothing but solid soldiers came from Germany and France. How they make them hollow is still a British trade secret. A hand cool and steady like a grenadier on parade is needed for the last finishing touches of paint. Doris Archer's is typical of these women workers' pride in models which are creditable works of art. To model the prototype took George Ford a week. Now 1,700 lead models come from each caster per day. 1,700 painted toys to delight every British boy and girl with the pageantry of trooping the color.